In this problem, we're being asked to find the limit as x approaches infinity of this quantity here. So there's two ways to do this. Method one is to use uh, intuition. We'll call this solution one. Because uh, x is approaching infinity, and these are both quadratics, you can pretty much ignore all the other terms except the squared terms. So that whenever this happens, the answer is always just going to be the ratio of the leading coefficients, so just 5 over 7. Another way to think about it, if you wanted to show some work, is you could say that this expression here is approximately equal to this expression here when x is big. And again, this is really just you know, a little bit of what's called hand waving, so we're not being rigorous here. These cancel, so you just get 5 sevenths. So the answer is going to be 5 sevenths. Another way to do this problem, uh, a little bit more formally, uh, and I'm not saying it's better, it's just a different way, is to use um, what's called L'Hopital's rule. So notice that the numerator is approaching infinity, and the denominator is also approaching infinity. So this limit has the form infinity over infinity. Uh, this is called an indeterminate form. Now, there's many indeterminate forms in mathematics, but whenever you have one that looks like this, you can use something called L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule basically says that whenever you have infinity over infinity, or maybe 0 over 0 also works, but in this case, infinity over infinity, you just take the derivative. So using the power rule, you have 2 times 5, so that's 10x, minus, and then the derivative of 3x is 3. Then you do the same thing on the bottom. 2 times 7 is 14x, and the derivative of 1 is 0. Notice it still has the form infinity over infinity. So use L'Hopital's rule again, so this is equal to the limit, as x approaches infinity, of 10x, oh, sorry, of 10, <laughs> 10 over 14, right? The derivative of x is 1. So you have 10 over 14, so this is the limit, as x approaches infinity, of 5 sevenths. Oh, but that's just 5 sevenths. So two ways to do it. Method one, using your intuition. Method two, using L'Hopital. I personally think it's good to know how to do it both ways, and I do think the intuition is important. So even though this is not really a rigorous mathematical approach, um, the understanding of this, I think, is really good for you. I hope this video has been helpful. Make sure to subscribe.